here, Mr. and Mrs. Roberts. They have seen your home and they have most interest. We love the peace and tranquility here. <laughs> You know, every time I get a call these days, it seems like somehow you're involved, Mrs. Reynolds. Mark! I, I told you, Mark's not here. Who are you? Mark! What do you do, anyway? I'm a model. Uh-huh. You're just an autopsy fan. You get your kicks thinking about dead bodies. You've been watching too much television. You'll kill me. Go to the car. Go 
follow the shoreline, okay? Right. What's going on? Friday morning flight to Dallas for the fashion shoot. Only two more days before we go to Dallas? <laughs> Sorry about that. Make the best of it, huh? I was thinking about you. You sure you don't need any help with all that packing? I'm okay. Anyway, the real estate lady will be here soon. I'm fine, really. I'm okay. <laughs> How you doing out there? Must be kind of rough being in the house. You live with Mark. Um, no, I'm fine, really. I have a lot of packing to keep me company, and there's someone at the door. So, Jack, listen, I'll see you at the fitting this afternoon, okay? Fine. Bye. Where's uh, Mark? Mark's not here. Mark! I, I told you, Mark's not here. Who are you? Mark! Okay, now we know where he was going. Let's ditch this boat. Come on. Oh, what the door me? Wait, wait, wait. Let me get to him. Oh, did you get the package? I have to find what, the package. package. You need a doctor to look... Are you... dead in Danny's living room. Oh, my God. A man named Dale Hobbs. I know a man with that name. Hello? Hello, Henry? Whatever happened to Dale Hobbs? Hobbs? Well, he resigned several months ago. Was it true to the rumor that he was involved in a robbery of agency funds? Jack, I'm afraid I can't talk about that. But in other words, it's true. Jack, what is this all about? Oh, sorry, Henry, I can't talk about that. What? been a friend of your husband's. I don't recognize the name. Your husband was, uh, what, uh, an ambassador? Um, special envoy of sorts. So, maybe he knew Hobbs overseas. <laughs> what have we here? Danielle Reynolds? Uh, yes. Uh, Maddie Bernstein. Uh, Castle Realty. Oh. Yeah, I brought a couple of people by to see the house. Nice to meet you in person, finally. But I can see this is not a good time. 
Why don't I just come back to the open house this afternoon? I trust you'll have a chance to tidy things up a bit first. Fine. Well, let's just go see this darling little fixer-upper right down the road. You'll love it. It used to belong to an executive at 20th Century Fox. find out anything more. And, uh, welcome back to Malibu. Okay, Henry, you ready to tell me what's going on? All right. Six months ago, three men made off with eight million dollars from our European contingency fund. We have reason to believe that Hobbs gave them the information they needed to pull it off. That's not exactly company loyalty. A couple of days later, Hobbs called Mark Reynolds, Daniel's husband. Then Hobbs disappeared. And now Hobbs goes to Mark's house looking for a package. Not knowing that Mark had died in the interim. Mark Reynolds could have been in on it. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get out there to Malibu, keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. I don't want Daniel upset any more than she already is. She's revisiting a house full of memories. Yes, sir. Hi, I would have come to the front door, but this was closer. You see, we're neighbors. I'm renting the house next door. Oh. Adam Fresco. Hi, Danielle Reynolds. What was all the excitement about? Um, afraid someone died. Sorry, who? I'm not exactly sure. I... Well, now someone's at the front door. Uh, would you like to come in? Oh, I... No, no. I just stopped by to introduce myself and see if I could do anything. But I would like to talk more sometime. Fine. Yeah. Until then. Bye. Let's hear it. What happened? and I came here the last time we were together in Malibu. I had the fish, he had the hamburger. He put tartar sauce on it because he thought it was mayonnaise. Anyway. Uh... What's wrong? Mm, nothing. You think this hobbs died of a heart attack? Yeah. It seemed to be the way he keeled over. He kept saying, is Mark here? Did he get the package? Where's Mark? Seems like Mark had something this fellow wanted. Yeah. Didn't you notice anything strange about the body? Yes, it was lying in the middle of my living room floor. What is this, an obsession of yours? It's the fifth time you've asked me about this body. Well, I guess I'm a sucker for morbid details. Obviously.
get desperate. Where are you headed? Oh, um, I got the address right here in my bag. See, I met this guy in L.A. and I'm going to surprise him at his beach house. It's, uh, 15091 Malibu Road. It's right on the way. Oh, great! Then you'll give me a ride? Okay. Hi, my name's Amber. Well, I'm Jack. This is Danny. Hi. Hi. I would really appreciate this. I was getting kind of sunburned out there. <laughs> Maybe you should wear some more clothes. Oh, less clothes, more rides. What can you do? <laughs> Boy, this guy's going to be really surprised. just a simple burglary, not a mass murder. Why do you think it was just a simple burglary? Do you know something we don't know? Well, why, of course not. But we... But we... But we were followed to that restaurant. And that's not your standard operational procedure for your run-of-your-mill burglary, is it? You didn't tell me we were followed. Describe the car. Silver gray impala with two men inside. Or maybe three. Excuse me. Mrs. Reynolds, do you think perhaps we could get this place cleaned up? The open house starts in an hour. Yes, I'm sorry. Certainly. Excuse me. <laughs> Here comes the mob, Danny. Here we are for the fitting. Oh, God. Yeah, we're all done here anyway, Mrs. Reynolds. Excuse me, ladies. What happened here? I'll, I'll explain later. Realizes the Selling this house is not going to be easy. I oh no, never mind, never mind. I'll go change. Go change. About the autopsy on the fellow who died here today. I hope the coroner runs tests for protein poisons, exotic sulfates, and the like. And what about marks on the body, like punctures, bruises, small scars? You some kind of a doctor? No. What do you do anyway? I'm a Model. Uh-huh. You're just an autopsy fan, that it? You get your kicks thinking about dead bodies? Look, Sheriff, this is serious. Son, you've been watching too much television. Hey, buddy, 
where's the kitchen and the plumber? Oh, it's right there. Excuse me. Mr. Prescott? Sign out front said open house. I hope you don't mind. I just walked in. Oh, no, not at all. Are you looking for something? Just looking at something. This bookcase is beautiful. Is it custom built? By my husband. It took him a year, but he uh, did every square inch of it. I heard he was killed. I'm sorry. Thank you. I know how sad it is to live in a house you shared with someone. Every book, every phase, every piece of furniture bring back some memory. Yes. Um, will you excuse me? Maybe I better look for whatever your alleged burglars were after. What makes you think they didn't find it? Well, if they had, they would have left. Look what I found. Dear Mark, here it is. All's in your court now, just like you wanted. Johnny's health. I'll meet you in six months, Dale. I came in this box. Post about six months ago from Italy. And there's nothing else in the box. Well, the way Maddie's been rummaging around, whatever else is in the box could be anywhere. Look, I suggest we get everyone out of here and start searching. Yeah, you're right. Don't ask me why, but the open house is off. Off? Canceled. What do you mean, canceled? Oh, uh, you're going to have to help me clear everyone out. It's, I'm sorry, it's very important. Uh, no, no, but Mrs. Reynolds, wait a minute. Mrs. Mrs. Reynolds, I, I was weeks setting this whole thing up. There are about three couples just practically begging me to take their deposit. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. Mrs. Reynolds, what do I tell Mr. Gaines? <laughs> Bad news, girls. What? what? The party's over. Whoa. I'm sorry. Me too. Well, look, maybe we can do something later tonight. Why don't I meet you at 8 o'clock at the hotel bar? Jack! Hey, Jack! Hi. Am I surprised it didn't work out? I mean, the guy was surprised that uh, it was his wife. <laughs> Did you have a party? Ah, uh, we did, but it's over. Don't say that again. Lisa, what? Is there any food left? Yeah, help yourself. Lisa! <laughs> Let's call it quits, huh? We haven't finished the house yet. Didn't you say you had, uh... Hey, with Lisa tonight? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess uh, we'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah? I uh, guess that goes for me too, ma'am. I wish I could say it was finished here, but I'm not. Well, I haven't found anything. And she's going to be there tonight. All alone. That's what she thinks. You know, you're sure eager to get into that house by yourself. And what is that supposed to mean? Meaning maybe you just want the diamonds so you can disappear with them? No, no. He won't run out of this. Not with Johnny there watching his every move. You just let me know what window you left open. Show up 
way, 815. I got a little worried. Look, so I'm late. I just got back. I had a little problem. Well, where do you want to go for dinner? Someplace grand with maybe with some food, romantic dancing. Mm. Sounds perfect. Well, it certainly does, except that um, I'm going to have to take a rain check. Henry. Lisa, Henry. How do you do? Hello. Lisa's Danny's new model. And Henry is... Are Danielle and Jack's uh, agent, you might say. Uh, well put. A pleasure. Sorry he can't come to dinner with us. Well, I am too, and I'm also sorry that Jack can't come. Lisa, I'm sorry. I promise tomorrow... We'll... I may have died of hunger by then. Ooh. Sorry, Jack, but I've got some more information that we've got to talk about right now. If you don't...
license number IPCE 366 is driving recklessly on Sky Canyon Road. He's going to kill the other motorist. Unit 36 is waiting for you at Sky Canyon Road. Set up a roadblock to cut off the black car. Your hands up! Manny, I'm sure Jack will call soon. Well, I am not in league with these people who want whatever it is they're after. Do you always take uh, walks at dawn? I do when I can't sleep. See, I'm... letting somebody sleep on my deck. Somebody who snores relentlessly. Now, let me ask you a question. Why were you sleeping on the couch? Or do I already know? <laughs> what did you say? Um, every little piece of furniture brings back memories. All good? Yes, all good. What did you lose? A cat, a dog, a house? What? A daughter. To a drunk driver. And then I lost my wife. And we eventually got over Cindy's death, but not our marriage. I'm sorry. I eventually got over that loss, too. How? By like getting out, being with friends. By learning how to ask for help. Hello? It's Jack. Look, I had a little run-in with the sheriff's department, and uh, <laughs> I'm in jail. I could use a little bail money. How much? Jack? Jack? Hello there. Oh, I'm sorry, I did call you, but your line was busy. Well, what happened here? Um, oh, good heavens. So now I guess you want me to find you a good glass man. That, that would be nice. I uh, really do appreciate everything you're doing. Uh, just don't let it be said I didn't earn every cent of this commission. Yes, I've got to go. Look over there. Looks like your nice-looking neighbor has himself some company. He just let her sleep on his deck for the night. Oh, yeah. For that body, I bet she sleeps wherever she pleases. <laughs> You know that? Look, you would have done the same damn thing if she had come at you out of nowhere. The problem is... She saw your face. That means she can identify you. And that means you wait right here while Moreau and I find the diamond. You got that? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. You do understand our position, don't you? Yeah. Good. The deputy on duty didn't care for your friend's interest in uh, my reading material. He was caught sneaking a look at the coroner's report on Dale Hobbs. Jack! Well, go on. Tell her what you told me. I don't think he died from a heart attack. I think he was poisoned. The report mentioned a small puncture mark in his upper arm. But no poison was in the body. Then they're using a chemical which remains stable long enough to induce cardiac arrest. It then breaks down into the substances normally found in the body. Well, if no poison was in the body, how do you suggest we prove he was poisoned? The coroner can do a protein test on the puncture to see if any traces left in the skin. It doesn't break down there as quickly as it does in the bloodstream. Do all photographic models know these things, or, or just you? Oh, Jack got an A in biology. Get out of here.
wrong, you're going to tell me what the hell's going on. What makes you think something's going on? Uh, what makes me think something's going on? Well, you're acting very weird. You show up at dawn on a hunch. You've been grilling the sheriff and me about a body. I'm not stupid. You're definitely holding something back. All right. Let's go and have coffee. I just said it was a possibility. No, it's not. Danielle, the problem is you've gotten emotionally involved in this case. That's why I told Jack instead of you. Do you All understand right. that? All right. All right. No, I apologize. Accept it. All right. Now it's your turn. What? What do you know? Well, apparently the money's been turned into diamonds. Mm. You know, I am going to prove Mark innocent. I hope you do. I want you to do something for me. I want you to check out uh, my neighbor, this Prescott guy. Why? I don't know. He's, uh, he's too perfect. There's something wrong. Okay. Oh, by the way, this just came in. It may not mean anything. This is a photograph of Hobbs' girlfriend. Her friends call her Johnny. Henry's 
says that Adam Prescott doesn't exist. What, an exoplasm? No, an alias. Well, then let's go and see if Mr. Alias is at home. Adam? Mr. Prescott? Amber? Looks like no one's here. Oh, wait a minute. You're not thinking of breaking in, are you? Turn about's fair play. Okay, we'll come back later. Later. Good, good. Hey, Jack, heads up. I'm giving you one more chance, Striker. <laughs> Get on your horse, Letty. Now, have here Mr. and Mrs. Roberts. They have seen your home and they are most interested. Wonderful. We love the peace and tranquility here. taken the diamonds. We must have missed them when we searched. Well, if he took them, he still has them. Mm -hmm. So we'll lure him out of the house with a phone call, and I'll go in and search the place. No. He's smarter than that. He'd know we were up to something. Anyway, he could take the diamonds with him. I've got a better plan. Mm -hmm. Mark used to collect candles like some people collect matchbooks. You ready for some champagne? Don't pour. All right. No, 
not. Still doesn't have the diamonds. Oh. Oh, yes, I do, my dear. Safely concealed inside the wax of this candle. Nice and snug. You see, Johnny told me exactly where they were this afternoon. Just before she accidentally died of a broken neck. one word with you. Now, I think you will agree that I have been inordinately patient with you in this whole matter, will you not yet? But this last little escapade here, this is just the last straw. So here, I just want you to take back your keys, take back your contract, take back your house, and shove it off a cliff. I sell houses, not glorified morgues. Uh, yes, no, no. So, 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 so. National Football League action on CBS Sports. See the Dallas Cowboys battle the Philadelphia Eagles, the New York Jets against the New York Giants, or other regional games. It all begins with the NFL Today. Check local listings for the game in your area tomorrow on CBS Sports. <laughs>